Each of us have a different approach to science, and in this case, astronomy, not unlike our varying taste in music, finance, fashion, sports, and the like. But everyone, everywhere, at some point in life, has gazed into the night sky and felt a sense of wonder. That's what this book is all about. Matt and I filled these pages with descriptions and images that overwhelm our senses and strain our comprehension. But they also do far more, stirring something inside the soul, beckoning us to something greater, someone more. Socrates wrote, Philosophy begins in wonder. I think it's true that worship begins in wonder as well. The glorious darkness that so accentuates the lights of heaven lifts us upward and draws us into its chorus. The longer we look up, the freer we become, lost in the wonder and mystery that surround us, lost in praise of the one who set each star in place. Broken humanity has a ferocious gravitational pull, constantly shrinking us down to earth. But as we lift our gaze to the skies, how can we not know in our hearts that there must be more? The heavens are telling the glory of God. Their expanse declares the work of His hands. Day after day they pour forth speech, and night after night they tell us what they know. There is no place where there is speech where their voices are not heard. Psalm 19, 1-3 Looking up makes us feel small and shrouds us with a sense of awe, but that's never a bad thing. So let that feeling come and stay as you journey through these pages and let the wonder of it all lift you up to see and embrace the face of God, the brilliant maker of all. Chapter 2. Many Kinds of Splendor When it comes to looking at the stars, You and I live in a privileged age. A few hundred years ago, astronomers believed there to be only around 6,000 stars out there in the universe. But in more recent times, these figures have been blown right out of the water, and we've come to realize just how short their estimations fell. Astronomers now believe there to be more stars in the visible universe, what we know to be there, than there are grains of sand on all of the world's beaches and deserts. As it turns out, We're even smaller than we thought we were. And our Creator God is far mightier than we ever imagined Him to be. But the show is by no means over. Every cosmic discovery scientists make today underlines just how much is still to be seen. The newest evidence suggests that there are somewhere between 100 and 200 billion galaxies in the universe, each of them containing hundreds of billions of stars. And as most scientists agree there still seems to be no end in sight. The last 20 years have ushered us into the most privileged age of all. In April 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope was unveiled, and with it a whole new era of seeing the wonders of God's handiwork. Not only has this telescope allowed us to see farther, but it has helped us to see the majesty of these celestial creations in far greater detail. In its orbit, above the distorting effects of Earth's atmosphere, Hubble is allowing us to gaze upon some of the most awe-inspiring sights ever known to humanity. As one astronomer commented, literally every place the Hubble Space Telescope has looked, it has found something fantastic. Making one splendor-filled discovery after another, this instrument is turning out to be one of the world's best worship leaders, introducing us to scenes of such compelling majesty that to bow low before our Maker is the only fitting response. In 1 Corinthians we read, The sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and the stars another, and star differs from star in splendor. Chapter 15, verse 41. When we look up and begin to search out the wonders of the heavens, we find many kinds of splendor. We see countless stars like our sun burning violently in a process of nuclear fusion. We encounter supernovas, massive stars in the throes of death, blazing even more extravagantly. During their final stages, these dying stars can shine brighter than an entire galaxy. We find neutron stars so compacted and dense that scientists predict one teaspoon worth 
It would weigh a billion tons. Spinning around at speeds of up to 600 revolutions per second, these stars are far beyond our imagining. We also find collections of stars, clusters and galaxies with hundreds, thousands and billions of stars in beautiful formations. We discover other objects too, such as nebulae, stunning clouds of gas and dust far larger than we could ever fathom. Yes, when we survey the expanse of the universe, we encounter so many kinds of splendor. Throughout this audiobook, we'll journey through several of them, witnessing the beauty and the power of these inspiring creations. Along the way, we pray that you will find yourself caught up in the wonders of the God they reflect. In the biblical account of the birth of Jesus, it was a star that led the wise men to find him. But God had been using stars to point people to himself long before this momentous event. Yes, the heavens declare the glory of God. And Louis and I hope that this audiobook will lead you to do the same.